Grab those. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm about to do. Yeah.
Thing, guys. Yeah, I'm gonna funny about it is the guy is not liked it and I hope you'll consider subscribing. I'm filming what you guys want. What I want right now is one of these monsters. You got a tune in flames right now. Yo, so how do I get an energy drink? You know, I wish I could give you one, but I can't. They're only really? for display, yeah. Even all those in the fridge, too, that are being cooled? Yeah, they're only for display. Oh, man, I thought you'd be giving them out. Monster gives them out. So. I wish we could. Yeah, yeah. So if I stole one, would you do anything? You know, I'm not security, but probably wouldn't be too good. No? Why not? You know, we're not supposed to be giving them out. Yeah, okay. Sorry about that. Oh, really? 
really? Was it so bad? Yeah, so uh, I'm not going to drink Rockstar from now on, only Monster. I'm just kidding. I like Red Bull. So that's where we were. You come through that door, you look up. Slang and Falter. Back with the individual throttle bodies here. Here we have a uh, third gen Trans Am. LED lights in the front. A lot of people with this booth, so again, I was in such weight. The 06 is year one, 1100 horsepower. Badass, I gotta show you guys. JDM motors here.
Hey, make sure to hit that like button, guys. Twenty or thirty grand into it, yeah. I think you got a pretty cool car compared to like a GTR. You got to spend what, one hundred fifty now or whatever. Yeah. It is. They're like, so expensive. Yeah, for a new one. Are they still break? Nice right they... I mean, one fifty. Yeah. yeah. So I'm. I'm do they have any run nines yet in the Mark Five? Yeah, they did. Yeah. Where in the U.S. Puerto or Rico. Uh, Puerto Rico? <laughs> well, I mean, they, they know what they're doing down there. Yeah. 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 I mean, it's. it's yeah, I got folks from Puerto Rico. We got uh, we're all car guys. Oh, it's, yeah. I mean, honestly, yeah. like, with ours, like, it, 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 it would be cool. Much more than normal. Sure. 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 They're flashing the fox stock in the PCU. We're using like poop, so it's like flashing stock. So, oh, oh, there's different. multiple ways you can modify it. Oh. It just came out yesterday. So that's why we don't want to get involved in any of that. We're not running the direct injection. We're using a standalone. Like we don't want to. And if we ever use this in competition, we probably won't use that stuff either. Yeah. Um, so is this a BMW block then, or is it made by Toyota as well, or? My understanding is Toyota helped uh, was partnering with the engineering of it, and yeah. then it's manufactured by BMW. Okay. Yeah, I saw your video on the internet. If you turn it down, it was really cool. Was yeah, a, I'm, I'm yeah. not a Toyota engineer or a Toyota employee. Yeah. I'm a I'm an enthusiast and a you know yeah. racing owner, and and this is an engine that we potentially would like to use in competition. So uh, you know, we're going through this project of trying to make a thousand horsepower out of it, and. I mean, that's we're just sort of showing the behind the scenes of on of yeah. how all that's going down. Right. So I kind of like to stop short of, you know, speaking on yeah. Toyota's behalf because yeah. I am not Toyota. Okay. Yeah. Um, and I have to be careful of what I say because I don't know all of the engineering and all the story in the background. Yeah. Uh, but I do know about the, the plans that we have for the engine, and you know, we're building this the next you know couple days, and then we'll be back on the engine dyno, and and uh, we're sharing all of, all of it on YouTube on the Pop Rocket Racing channel. Yeah. I uh, see your channel, it's pretty nice. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah, he, he does everything. He does like 3D printing and he yeah. does all machining. And yeah, I mean, it's, to the nowadays, I want to learn how to design something on SolidWorks or, yeah. or it's CAD. Yeah. You don't have to go to school anymore. You spend some money, get a laptop or a computer, get the software, watch YouTube, YouTube read University. some tutorials and maybe meet some friends or even on forums and now you kind of know how to do it. Yeah. Start doing it and get experience and then you can become competent at it. Maybe not at a, you're not being, building aerospace parts, but Absolutely. you could build, you know, motorsports or something for your own car. And that's how I've been learning everything yeah. is. Have you, yeah. have you looked into like um, the other head, like the S58? Uh, yeah, a little bit. So the plan we have right now is to stick with the 2020 The whole S58 deal. So we don't know what the difference in the cams are. We don't know what different things that Toyota may come out with in the, in the future. So, um, but I, my, I am confident and I have been told that the B58 Architecture isn't changing anytime soon. Yeah. So if we're building crankshafts and rods and pistons and things like that, and even valve train, it does carry over. Uh, but I've seen some of the older B58s use a 
two timing chain setup. Yeah. And this one uses the single. Yeah. And I think this may be the only. I don't know if any of the, the beamers use the single chain setup. I don't know. Or the two core head. The two core head, no. Well, as far as I know. So that's the thing is, there are some things that are super specific. Yes. Um, and uh, I don't know why, but they just, they just happen to be. Uh, but it's probably preference. But yeah, I mean, this won't end up in a car. If it does end up in the car, it's not anytime in the next three months. Yeah. So Definitely we'll see how things look for a reason, you know? Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. I'm excited. We're so uh, are you going to do another build uh, tomorrow then? Yep. So we did the short block today, yeah. crank rods and pistons. Okay. Tomorrow will be the cylinder head, the, the valve train and the timing components. Yeah. And then Friday will be exhaust turbo intake manifold. Okay. And, and by time? the end of the week, we'll have it totally assembled. And then next week, we'll be back on the engine dyno, hopefully make our 1,000 horsepower. We'll see. And then finish editing the video, and then we'll put that video up on the Pompa Docket okay. Racing YouTube channel. So what did you do to make this engine capable of 1,000 horsepower? Uh, the changes in the short block are we're running a Carrillo rod, a JE piston. We're using an unmodified block. We're actually using the factory uh, piston rings. Okay, so stock displacement then? Stock displacement, yeah. factory crank. Uh, we're using ARP head studs, uh, Supertech valves, springs, and retainers, factory cams, and... Uh, we're not running any of the direct injection fueling because we're using E85 and we need to make so much power, we need so much fuel yeah. that we can't do it through the DI. You need another that, pump. With the current aftermarket technology. Yeah. So we're just running 100% on, on a standalone with the AEM Infinity system. We're okay. using six ID2000 uh, injectors, yeah. injector dynamics injectors. Uh, we're building a, we built a custom uh, 3D printed aluminum intake manifold yeah. so we can, can put we those that? port injectors. That'll be here Friday. Oh, so we can't wait Friday? Okay. Friday. So yeah. Friday we're going to have that. Yeah. And I have another YouTube video of how it's all um, the 3D printed stuff is made. It's pretty badass. Yeah, I saw like, it. It was pretty cool. So I filmed like how they like lay each one of the layers and like the whole deal. So that's like a five minute video that I'm going to put on the YouTube. But yeah. when I finished editing it, Two weeks ago, like my mess throat was all messed up, and I couldn't do like the voiceover. And then by the time I got better, it was so close to SEMA, I didn't want to release it with this live video. So I'll probably do the fourth video, and then the intake manifold video, and then maybe some other stuff. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not on like a schedule. Like the guys try to do like two or three videos a week and whatever. I don't want to get on that treadmill. Yeah. So I'm just kind of. You also when, have when other it, work. And stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So when the videos are done, they kind of come up. But there's no schedule other than. The fourth video in the series needs to be finished this month. Gotcha. Uh, so the plan is on the 19th is to release that video of this month, so, which will be the whole dyno video. So what, do you, what do you think about the chassis itself? I got sitting at the shop, but I haven't looked at it too much. I don't really? Know. Yeah. Okay. Can we rotate it once to see the bottom yeah. end? Sure. All right. Yeah, it's weird how the timing chain is on the uh, the flywheel. Then. So I guess my understanding is a lot of the race engines, they've been on the back of the engines for years now. Um, and I don't know exactly why. It may have something to do with harmonics or because of the wrap up and the cam or the crank. Yeah. Uh, you don't have less timing chain, uh, timing from change. What, from what but, I've uh, seen in the past, harmonics. Maybe. Harmonics, yeah. Um, because what the, the crank has a harmonic. Yeah. And that goes into the chain. Yeah. But if you have it here, it's dampened by the whole setup. Exactly. And, yeah. There yeah. you go. Yeah. So that's more of the race. Side. Yeah. Because this end is bending more, I think. The cr you know right. torsional and that crank torsional shaft. harmonic. Yeah. Tr it um, goes into the chain and then potentially yeah. into the whole valve train. Right? Valve train. Yeah. If you want high does. RPM, you need stability. You get away from well, most of the front sump or the oil chain is the oil pump is there, so you get away with oil problems with the gears cracking, breaking. Oh, uh, all right. Yeah. yeah. Separate. And that's people people dissing it, but it's but, they're not yeah. doing it to make it worse or harder to work on. They're doing it because it's better. Yeah. We uh, we did pull the head off last week and put it back on, and it was easier than um, a timing chain on the front because when you have a timing chain on the front, you've got to pull off the pulley, yep. and you've got to take the whole the valve cover off. You can take the whole timing cover off, so you have access to the chain stuff to then get the the head and everything off. This yep. one, you pull the valve cover off. You then release the timing chain tensioner. Yeah. You pull the cams out, and the timing chain just lays there. Then you pull the whole head off. There's no timing cover anymore That's because awesome. it's built into the head. Yeah. You pull the head off, 
do whatever you need to do. Um, so what we did was we had to plug the DI injector holes. Yeah. Um, and then we put it back on, and then everything just went right back together again, and then you align the crank and the cams, put the timing uh, yeah. chain back on, and the, the uh, tensioner, and then you're done. There's no timing. If you look at it, there's no timing cover anymore. Uh, I mean, there is, uh, yeah. but it doesn't have to come off to get the head off. So that was the thing with the K motors, I guess the Honda yeah. K motor skunk or somebody made like a two part cover so you could take off just the top or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, this is, there's no. Hey, real quick, what, what time do you got to be back here to see you uh, put the head on tomorrow? So we will be here at 1 o'clock. We're going live on YouTube at 1 30. Okay, awesome. 1 o'clock, be here. You're at the show. Thanks, man. Uh, it's like two years. It's been out for two oh, years. Man. I know that may have bored some people, but. I, uh, I'm a CNC machinist. I love cars. And seeing what that guy's done with the super engine, you know, I think it's just phenomenal. So I really wanted to document that, and I'm gonna, you know, eventually put that in its own video. All right. So which super do you guys like the best of all these? I like this one a lot. All right, let's go outside, fellas. Plymouth Cuda Viper V10. This one looks like it's out of a third gen Viper. See this, Travis? Nitrous? Oh, that's pretty funny. <laughs> Ooh, is this a 2JZ in here? I already showed the four rotor guys. Well, we'll go look at it again if that's what you guys want to see. These are trucks. I'm not as interested in trucks as I am cars, so I'm just going to bypass them, I think. Apologize if I offended anybody. <laughs> Super van. 
Is that right? Such a van from that Cheech and Chong movie. It reminds me of that. This must be fast. Yeah. Oh, I like that ass wheelies, too. Wow. Wow, this is one of my favorite things here, guys. I hope you like this. Creativity went into there. You're made to look 